All right. So let's keep going with our landscape here and get some more layers going. All right. So I'm basically going to repeat the process, but what I want to do is just walk through other layering techniques. So let's drop down another uh, feature node. So we're going to say height field mask by feature. All right. And I'm going to drop that down like so. And what I want to do for this one is the rocks. So I'm kind of building this in a logical order. So it's kind of like dirt and sediment, then the rock, and then, you know, grass grows on all that stuff. And then we have snow on top of all that stuff. And then, you know, more detail oriented stuff on top of all that. All right. So what I want to do for this one is build the rocks. So this is going to be the rock layer. Okay. And let's go up here to mask by slope and i want to get rid of that little guy because i want the full range at the the tail end there and we really just want to get a certain area where you know basically only like bushes or maybe some really tough trees can grow in this case you know a lot of these slopes are covered in trees but what i want to do is expose a little bit of rock all right and so that's basically what we're doing here so i'm just going to make a nice little rock mask now if you if you get too many of these little jaggies here you can always smooth out the radius so if you do something like four you can start getting rid of a lot of little tiny stuff that you don't really need all right that really comes in handy when uh, you bring it into unreal or unity so that's pretty good i think again it's all adjustable so we can change it later i just kind of want to get things all set up now one thing i do want to do is i want to remove all the the little streams as well from this layer. So I'm just going to jump into the hills layer and get this streams um, mask. That's what we'll call it. So I'm just going to copy this guy and put it right below the rock layer. So we remove all of the, the streams from this as well. And I actually copied the, the wrong one there. So I wanted to actually get so this is the actual node where we create the mask. So create mask or create layer here. And this is the streams mask like so. All right, so let's copy that one and let's put it below the rocks again. There we go. And now we're subtracting out all the streams from those rocks because we're gonna put some like, you know, sediment or something like that on top of that. That's the stuff that just kind of is constantly flowing on top of the rocks, you know, all year long. All right. So with that, let's drop down another uh, layer copy node. So we'll do a copy layer. There we go. Put that down there and we'll take the current mask and we'll send it to a rock layer. So now if I were to hit this little info button, we have rock. Cool. So let's uh, bundle all that up. So I'm going to hit shift C on the keyboard like so and then we'll call this the rock layer very cool and pump that into the result now inside of our cop network we need to go jump into it uh, because we need to update the layer so i need to come into this sop import here go to the sop tab and say set planes from sop so we get the rock layer there so now what we can do is we can kind of just keep adding on to this. this is why it's actually kind of a cool little system for this type of work at least so i'm going to get rid of this base color node and just pass in the previous layer and wire that up there cool and we'll call this our rock color there we go so by copying all that stuff it just saved ourselves a ton of time and we're basically just going to do that for every single layer because really we just want to change the color here so let's actually save our scene and let's go into the composite view so you can see now we've got this rock color stuff going on here. And what I need to do inside of this uh, base layer or this composite node, so this is going to be the rock layer, I should call this. All right, inside of this composite node, I need to tell it to use a different uh, mask. All right, so currently it's just using mask. I want it to actually use uh, the rock. And this one was working, but we should have actually switched over to hills. There we go. All right, so. One last thing I like to do, I, I hold down Alt on the keyboard and then I just click on the wire. That way I can just keep this nice and clean. I, I really dislike having, you know, my node wires crisscrossing each other. It just makes it really hard to read the, the whole network. So just a quick tip there. All right. So for the, the rock color, I want to pick something kind of warm 
like a warm color here. But I, I want to desaturate it a lot, make it maybe a little darker. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. So let me just save that. And now everything will work because we've got all the, the major structure in place. So if I just go back to the scene view and go back up one step there and just turn on my quick shade node, you can see now we have rock on our landscape. And the, the streams and stuff like that are cutting right through it. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so now let's move on and let's actually set up the grass for all this stuff. All right, and so to do that, I'm just going to copy my sub network here uh, because we kind of have all the information that we need. And if we need to add anything, we will, but we can actually utilize all that stuff. So I'm going to call this the grass layer. All right, and wire that in. And I'm doing this because I just honestly don't want to constantly go and create new nodes all the time, especially when I'm just doing the same process over and over again. So that's why I'm bundling them up into these little sub networks so I can just reutilize all that stuff. So I really want the grass, you know, to not be where the rock is. All right. So really quick way to, to do this, we could just invert that mask. And now we have, you know, all of that particular data. But what we need to do is we actually need to also remove you know, where all the other sediment was from our original base layer mask that we had for the hills. So what we can do um, is we can actually grab that particular mask that we had. All right. So to do this, what I'm going to do is uh, drop down a copy layer node. So we're going to do copy layer. So height field copy layer. This is really useful to do. So you're not, you know, having to redo a lot of extra steps that we already have all that data. So how do we get that? mask. And so what I want to do is I want to take the source information from that hills mask. All right. And I want to send it into our mask now. All right. So there we go. So now we have it. And so I want to layer that over my current grass layer. So this is where all the grass, this is where I'm saying all the grass is going to go. Okay. For my particular landscape. And I want to basically blend these two so that I subtract all this information. Okay. So let's drop down a, a layer, so a height field layer node, like so. And you can see that we have this terrain to layer and this required base terrain. So our, our base terrain is our grass layer. We want to layer in our hills mask, all right? And we want to basically subtract them. And I want to make sure that I just put mask in here. All right, and what we want to do is actually invert this guy right here. So a really quick way to do that, to invert a mask on a uh, terrain, is to uh, drop down a wrangle node. So we need a volume wrangle node. Whoops. So let's do volume wrangle. There you go. And we're going to say that at mask is equal to one minus at mask. Super quick and, and easy to do. All right. So let's go and do that. And there we go we now have where we want the grass to be. Now we can obviously go and, um, you know, change a lot of these features as well. So we can make it, you know, a little bit more fuzzy. So maybe the grass is kind of growing over the rocks a little bit. Um, you know, so it's up to you. All right. So a couple cool little techniques there to, you know, just help speed along your, your masking workflows. All right. So I'm going to get rid of the strings mask because it came in with our hills. Uh, let's go and also do a height mask. So I want to do a feature, a mask by feature node here. And I'm going to subtract a little bit of the grass as it reaches a particular height. So let's go up here and let's do a subtract again. Okay. And I don't want to mask by slope. I want to mask by height right here. And let's actually compute the range. All right. And I'm going to get rid of uh, this end of the the, the ramp for a height, because I'm really just interested in where parts of the grass might, you know, run out of oxygen as it gets, as the elevation gets too high on these mountains, the grass is basically going to stop growing there. So I'm going to put the min height to zero and I'm going to adjust this particular height mask until it's all the way right, right down here to something like that. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe a little higher there. And you can, you can adjust the fall off of that as well. So you can pull this little guy there and I lost it. So let's pull this down again. There we go. There we go. So 
So basically, I want to remove that particular portion from my grass mask. So I'm going to invert this particular mask. And now we have the area where we want the grass to be. Cool. So let's pass that into our copy layer node here. And our mask now is going to become uh, grass. Just like that. All right. So now we've got our grass layer. Let's go into our cop network and set it up. So again, all we need to do is copy these two guys, hold down alt and left click and drag. And then we're going to change that base layer right there. And I'm going to wire this into the final result. Just organize it a little bit and we'll call this the grass color. And then organize my wires over there. Very cool. And let's just give this a grass color now. And then inside of the composite node, change the mask over to, oh, we forgot to go up to the SOP node. So we need to, again, go to the SOP import node and set the planes. And then inside of our composite node, we'll have a grass layer now. Voila, pretty cool stuff. All right, so one last thing I wanna do before I close out this particular uh, lecture, let's just call this the grass layer. Cool, so there we go. So we are on our way. And really, it just you just keep going on and on like that. I, I tend to just keep copying my subnetwork. So what I want to do uh, in the next lecture is just do a little bit more refinement. I want to show you guys a couple more things uh, in terms of masking. Uh, and we're going to go and add in, you know, uh, younger trees where these canyons are. And we're going to go and add some snow on top of this stuff. And then we'll move on to exporting all this stuff out. So that way we can get it into uh, Unreal and Unity. All right, thanks so much.